So we export this model from one model viewer, open it in Blender and it looks all silver. This is because your viewport display mode is set to solid. Up here on the right you can change it to wireframe, solid, textured or rendered. However, one model viewer has a tendency to mess up textures import and you might notice that the flame is missing here. So I recommend importing it from our exporter. And when we bring it from the WoW exporter, it looks like this. Those textures are also messed up. You can see all the black shouldn't really be there. So go to the Properties panel, to the Material tab. Scroll up here and you can see all the materials that this object has on it. If you open the Preview panel here, you can better see which is which. Let's start with a glow. Select it. Left click on the corner here and drag. From this menu, select the Shader Editor. Make sure you have the right material selected. Take this alpha socket and connect it to this alpha socket. This embarrassing pixelation is there because we have the wrong blending mode and because Blender is trying to kill us. With the same material still selected, scroll down here to the settings, change blend mode to alpha blend and shadow mode to none. We have the glow sorted. Let's fix the flame. Select the flame material, connect the alpha to the alpha. In the setting, change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend and shadow mode to none. See, it doesn't work. Remember that Blender is trying to kill you. And instead, connect the color socket to the alpha socket. So that was a quick and dirty way of doing it, but it still doesn't look great. What I usually do is remove the glow altogether. Select the item, hit tab to go to edit mode, select the glow, hit P to separate it, selection, enter, then hide it. Now that we got rid of that, let's go to the flame material, delete all this, and add three shaders. Hit Shift A, Shader, Emission, then add Shift A, Shader, Transparent, then add Shift A, Shader, Mix. Link the Emission and the Transparent to the Mix, link the Mix to the Material Surface, link the Color to the Emission, link the Alpha to the Factor. Realize this doesn't work because Blender and Blizzard are trying to kill you, and plug the Color into it instead. This looks decidedly wrong, so let's flip those two noodles. And now we can control the strength of the flame. If you really want it to look awesome, go again to the Properties panel and go to the Render Properties tab and tick on Bloom. Now when you make the flame stronger, you get a more beautiful glow. With the Bloom ticked on, the higher the strength of your emission, the brighter your glow. And personally, I think this looks infinitely better than the Blizzard Pixel Factory. My god, you guys don't have any idea how many times I recorded this. <laughs>